loose gravel that I haven't gotten a grip on. There we go. Sometimes I just lose my momentum. Little bridge here. Oh, some mud. Okay, let's see if I can get on one of the. Oh. Get it around. Brought me down to the seat. Woo. Okay. We made it through that. It was not too muddy, but it was steep and slippery. So I skidded a bit. Whew. I wish the camera would show the steepness of roads. It never does. Uh-oh. Construction going on. Hola. Why rainy season on these roads is pretty rough because they get wild, you know? Mud is one of the more difficult things as we speak. Oh, oh man. mud. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Oh. Okay. Which track? I guess the left one. Oh, oh I'm right in the mud. Okay, now that I've made it through that, let me remind you where I'm at. I'm in the mountainous area of Weiwei Tenango, Guatemala, headed toward a really interesting little town that I mentioned in my last vlog, Toro Santos, which is where I'm going. A super interesting uh, town. There's lots to say about this place. I'll tell you about it later. They have a wild tradition coming up. It is so bizarre and funny and ridiculous. So I'll tell you about it and maybe I'll learn about it when I'm there. So that's where I'm headed. A super interesting little town in the mountains who are about to celebrate their wild annual festival. But first, of course, not before, a few surprises and delights on the way. Whew. You know, sometimes I can feel myself going to like moments of not confidence and I have to like really shake myself out of it. It's like sometimes I'll get a bout of fear. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't talk about this while I'm riding. But I can really feel my emotional state very distinctly. And uh, it makes such a huge difference. It's not just makes a difference, it's everything. It's the entire entirety of your performance, just like in any sport. Well, I'm not exactly sure what to do here. I can't tell if he wants me to pass. I see another truck in front, so I think I won't be able to pass that guy. Oh, here's a motorcycle. He'll show me a little bit of the path. But these guys are going, so I think I'll wait until they're out of the way, hopefully. But at the end there, it's really steep, so I don't want to be stopping there. Hola. Okay. Maybe I count to five. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Five Mississippi. OK, 
Okay, there they are. At least, looks like I'll be able to stop but not super steep part. Oh, these trucks, man. Whew. I'm gonna wait in this shade again because I can't. Pass him at a, at a good time. Look how slow they go. Man, already five Mississippis after I can't see them. One Mississippi, five Mississippi. Okay, let's hope I won't need to stop anywhere I don't want to. Oh, good. It's nice and open. Clear. Oh my goodness. Look, look at that. <laughs> Cement. That was a beautiful track. If only I had my drone to catch the, the views. Man, I think I need to get another drone battery. Okie dokie. Now I wonder, we have 21 more miles and it says an hour and a half for 21 more miles. My guess is this pavement is uh, just short lived. We're gonna make a left here. What do we have here? Oh, I'm gonna have some of this. Good, wow, amazing. Oh, so good. That was so fun. Oh, what am I going to have? I'm so excited. Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cuánto que es por esos? Dos. Gracias. I got to tell you, I love the adventure of traveling on my motorcycle. Yet, some of my favorite moments are just like this. Simply eating fresh fruit on the side of the road. And even better, when I get to have interactions like these.
Couldn't catch it on the GoPro, I don't think. But here we are on this dirt road. It is super fun. And alongside, on the left-hand side, are views of this insane, massive waterfall. I need to zoom in. When in times like these, and I need a friend. So, 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 so nice. This is so what it's about. And this route has a great um, I'm glad I took this route. It was the way to go. It has a great off track, super scenic and beautiful. And yeah, it was the way to go. I'm so happy. You lend a hand, cause you to see a duck i know it's strange but look two two ducks two ducks and this super random road two ducks buenos dias <laughs> buenas tardes <laughs> well i'm starting to get closer to the town Todos Santos, the final destination of my epic ride today. But certainly the road did not cease to be any less legendary right up until the arrival. end of this awesome off-road track, I had a thought. While I know I've abolished fear around traveling and camping alone, I continue to have fear about gnarly dirt roads, almost as if it's justified fear, because there's a real physical threat, right? Well, after today, I couldn't help but think, could it be possible that one day I will not fear the roads? I guess we shall see. And meanwhile, poco a poco, little by little, I'll continue on. Arriving into town, they were clearly preparing for upcoming activities. Decorations were up and some roads were closed. I did not have a place to stay yet, so I was wandering around looking, not realizing how easy it was to be riding down unmarked one-way streets. Okay, I'm all settled here in my little room. I am charging all my devices because 
everything is dead battery, which means for the next little bit, I'm going to be vlogging from my phone. Maybe you can notice the difference. Um, I'm gonna go out and walk around town a little bit. This town is quite interesting and it's the lead up to a very big weekend here. So I think there's some ongoings. I've only seen like a tiny bit and a bunch of roads were closed. So uh, now I'm gonna go explore. Okay, there's something, first of all, here's a bit of the town. There's mountains all around and it's a bit cloudy, but there's something really particular about this town. And before I tell you, I'm gonna see if you can guess. So as we go about and uh, explore, let me see if you can notice something in particular. Okay, I just, this is my very favorite fruit. It's called cherry moya. I don't have a knife or anything. Let's see how ripe it is. This is what it looks like on the inside. Not like the most perfect ripe, but no, good. It's very textured and sweet. See how nice it is? From afar, I saw a Ferris wheel somewhere. I don't actually know how to get to it. Pretty sure the ferris wheel is the other way so i think i'm gonna walk to the end of this street and then <clears throat> go see where the ferris wheel is at this point i have zero clue where i'm going you would think i could find this huge ferris wheel easily but <laughs> i saw it from the hotel balcony but i literally cannot find it i don't know well anyway here's a nice church where the ferris wheel is i'm literally looking i should see it in the sky but i don't okay i found it there it is in the world do i get there okay somehow i made it back to the street um but new plan i am gonna buy some fruits or vegetables here and make myself a little something to eat because soon I'm going to meet up with my new um, cyclist friends who I just met in town and uh, join them for dinner, although I probably won't have dinner, so I'll make my own dinner before. Yes. Yes. Okay, so have you noticed anything interesting about this place? Well, the interesting thing is kind of here. Oh, I'm going uphill. But um, this is a town where most of the people here, they come. Oh God, I'm sorry, I'm walking up a very steep hill. So my breath is taking a toll. <laughs> the best time to tell a story is while I'm walking uphill. Hold on. This is where I make my guacamole on the balcony of my room because the table that I have in there is full of my electronics. So I'm using this tiny little space right there to do my chopping. I found another duck today. Oh, he just went in his little home, scraggly duckling, not duckling, a duck, a proper duck. Another duck for today. Okay, now I can finish the story without huffing and puffing. So did you guess, did you guess right? Did you notice anything particular about this town? 
Well, it is the, what they're wearing. You may have noticed that everybody, all the men, are wearing the exact same pants and shirt or variation of layers on their top, and the women as well. And that is because this town is a Mayan town. Todos Santos is a Mayan town, and everyone here is of Mayan descent for the most part. And they still adhere to the traditional clothing, which is the clothing of this particular this area in particular. So uh, that's kind of an interesting or unique thing about this town, Todos Santos. And look, I finally found, not I found, I, no, I haven't found, but this is the Ferris wheel here, right outside my door of my little room. <laughs> and now I am going to, I met some bikers, some not, not motorcyclists, but push bikers. And uh, I'm gonna meet up with them. And they're gonna have dinner. I'll probably have like a tea. And what else? There's one more thing that I wanna tell you. The reason there's a Ferris wheel and kind of things going on this weekend is because in a few days, it is a huge day for Toro Santos. They have one of their biggest um, festivals. And this festival, is very funny. It's called Dia de Toro Santos, which is the Day of the Saints. And guess what they do? <laughs> okay, the entire thing about this festival is that the men, they stay up the night before and they get hammered. The goal, the point is to get hammered, to get wasted, to get drunk, 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 drunk. And then the, they stay up all night drinking. And then the next day they do a horse race. <laughs> The goal is whoever can stay on the horse longest, but they are hammered. It's something I'll necessarily stay for, but I kind of love that I'm here for the pre-festivities. That's really exciting. So I'm gonna go out and meet my biker friends and hopefully figure out how to get to the Ferris wheel and just have a little more fun in this town. And there's lots of candies. I found it, here it is. 